Hey guys, so welcome back. I hope you guys have had a good holiday break, is what I'll say. Hold on a second. So mine was insanely busy, insanely busy. Uh, and then on Christmas Day, my mother, you guys know, uh, my mother and I live together. And then I have a special needs son also who has Down syndrome. We were at my nephew's for the holiday. And my mother fell down two flights of stairs. So I was actually holding my newborn nephew at the time. And so I... I just heard boom, 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 boom. I just hear this noise. I'm like, what is happening? And so I jumped up, gave my son the baby, like hold the baby, because he was just standing there. He just froze, like he didn't know what to do, and he was not saying anything. I'm like, what the hell? So um, I go to the bottom of the stairs, and there's my mother. Anyway, so we had to call the ambulance and all these things. Um, and she didn't want to take any pain pills. She didn't want to be transported any of that stuff so we just went ahead about our christmas day for a couple hours but she was in unbelievable pain uh she finally agreed to take a tylenol and then i just took her to the hospital to the er but um yeah so she is 72 i don't know if i said that already or not way too old to be falling let alone down so many stairs like i thought it was just a few but I was looking at the picture, I'm like, that's a lot of damn stairs. There was a lot of stairs. Anyway, um, so nothing was broken, but she's just moving slowly and bruising and lots of bruising um, and healing, basically. Then the next day, she already had like a doctor's appointment scheduled, so there's that. But she was, of course, at the hospital for much of the night. Um, so, yeah, I'm just exhausted. I have been exhausted. Um, I was supposed to actually cook because you know how you, wherever you eat, you eat, right? Where, whoever's house you're at, but then you also like prepare something for your own house. And so we were going to do fish and shrimp and fries and yeah. So I already had those things thought out. So I had to cook. So yesterday I didn't do it on Christmas. So yesterday I went ahead and cooked all that stuff and went and tried to take care of a few things outside of her appointment. Like, it's just been kind of chaotic for me. Um, and it's crazy because Christmas Day, like, I was able to meditate just a little bit, but not in the very dedicated and intentional way that I do usually. And so yesterday, I'm standing in the kitchen, getting ready to cook, and I'm listening to my chakra healing and cleansing music because, like, I don't know, it just is helpful. Especially when I'm, like, washing dishes, you know, like, <laughs> anytime you're in contact with water because of the powerful conductor that water is, um, you, like, like, I get a lot of intuitive guidance and messages there. So I'm standing there, y'all, and in my mind, I'm just like, check on your strong friends. Because I feel like when you are a person that shows up physically, mentally, emotionally, financially for so many other people, people always assume that you can handle it. You can take it. You got it together. And the truth of the matter is, I know especially for me, I am so reliant on divine assistance <laughs> right for everything and so while i feel like i am capable it does not mean that i don't get overwhelmed and i'm standing in the kitchen and i have this thought like who the hell is going to check on me who is going to check on me who's going to ask me how i'm doing and really want to know um who's going to ask me if i need something without it being the question that they ask before they tell me what they need right <laughs> like i just had a moment and it was like almost in that exact instant my mother asked me how did i sleep and i just broke down mind you it was already like one o'clock in the evening <laughs> we'd already done much of her stuff for the day 
gotten her medications or prescriptions and all that stuff. And I just broke down because I'm like, nobody ever asked me that. Like, like my son, he typically asks that every day. You sleep good, you know? But, um, nobody ever really checks on me. I'll say that. And I just really had a moment. And it's so crazy because right after that, Spirit showed me an angel number that I see often. And I just happened to look it up this time because I felt like it was what it was. And so I looked it up. Uh, I just saw 533 on the clock. I hope you guys can hear me because I have my fan going and I don't have my earbuds in. But um, I just happened to look it up and it was basically just that. Like know that you are being loved and supported and encouraged even when times get tough. And it was just the encouragement, the divine encouragement that I needed at that time in that moment. And then I got a message from one of my other friends who asked, um, because I posted about my mom's fall on my personal page, but she asked, you know, are y'all okay over there? Which she often does, because she knows some inside stuff that I do not share. Anyway, <laughs> um, so she said, how is, how is Joanne, you know, how's my mom, or whatever. And it was just like right at that moment where I was having that kind of a pity party moment for myself, Right. And I feel like it was the universe's, God's source's way of reminding me that there are some people, right, who care. Anyway, I just wanted to come on to not only encourage you, because like I said, um, I have my mom, and then I have um, a son who has Down syndrome. And while he is fairly independent, he's also super codependent. So, like, some days, you know, it feels like I am literally three people. I have to be myself. I have to think for him sometimes. And my mom, you know? <laughs> like, a lot. Uh, um, so, yeah, it gets overwhelming occasionally to feel like, okay, I'm having to be in all of these places, all these people, to all these, to everybody. And nobody is trying to show up in that way for me. So, y'all, I had a moment. And I wanted to... The, I, I'm the, I've, if you follow me, you probably saw the post where I realized, oh, the full moon is tonight. And it's so crazy because I've been seeing the moon. And I've been noticing it's about to be full. It's about to be full. And I'll be damned. I looked up. It's already Tuesday. <laughs> like, it's full today. And so I said, okay, I'm going to do, I'd already planned to do a salt bath that night to really just cleanse my energy just because of the types of days that I've been having. And, um, yeah, I couldn't, I could not do it. I mean, passed out, passed out. And I feel like I got some good, much needed sleep, physical sleep and rest. And so I woke up in a really good energy this morning. So I did my shower and I did my bath, like a really long bath. And my uh, Reiki and my meditation in the bath. And just, yeah. So my energy is completely different. And I'm feeling like back to myself today. But at the same time, I still had to set boundaries like, hey, <laughs> with my family. These past few days have been all about y'all. Okay. So today is for me. And my channel, my purpose, what it is that I do. So that's what I'm going to be focused on. But it is so important not only to check on your friends, but to show a genuine interest in their well-being as well. Even if you think they are strong. Even if you think they can handle it. Even if you think they got it all under control. Because sometimes, not sometimes, all the time consideration is love and love is expressed through someone else being considerate of you period <laughs> so yeah check on those people that you may know who are in similar positions like that um i was just thinking it's so important especially if you are a wife and mother like husbands check on your wife wives check on your husbands who are trying to keep it all together, balance it all, show up for everybody. Like, be sure that you encourage people, the people that you love in your life, to take time for themselves. 
okay? Because it and take time to connect to God, to source the divine, because it is vital to their well-being. You know, it's vital. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, yeah, I would like to say I've been working on readings for the channel, but I have not. I have not. Um, <laughs> but that's the goal today. I have two personals to do. Um, and this particular person, her cards have been laid out since Christmas Eve. But then my neighbors had a party, a whole thing. So, yeah, I didn't get to do her reading. But we are here today. We're going to knock those out and then continue recording for the channel. And hopefully they will be up by New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Um, just to give you a preview of what is happening for you guys um, in 2024. Guys, I feel like it's really going to be a year of exposure, a year of growth for many. Um, and just really moving into to alignment, clarity. So that's really good, right? I hope you guys have had an amazing few days. And I hope this is helpful and encouraging to someone. It's really, really good to be able to show up for other people in your life. But don't forget about you and what your needs are. Okay? And don't forget to check on the people you love. I hope this was helpful. Bye-bye.